My name is Chris Keen. I've been representing abused children uh, for about uh, 30 years now. So this case involves the illegal restraint of a disabled child. In this case, like a lot of my abuse cases, the act of the abuse itself is worse than the actual physical injury. The real essence of this case and what I was trying to use DK Global to visualize was the abusive verbal tone that this teacher took with the child who told her when she was on top of him that he couldn't breathe. And her response to that was, if you couldn't breathe, you couldn't talk. So in this particular case, the child had been restrained and had petechiae, which are burst blood vessels throughout his face and torso. What I had DK Global do was show the abusive restraint and then show the pathophysiology of the causation of the petechiae. Now, the petechiae in and of themselves don't hurt, but the act of getting smothered and getting abusively restrained is, is horrifying. The school district itself determined that the restraint used by the teacher exceeded the education code. The teacher herself entered a no contest plea to a misdemeanor charge of disturbing the peace. The currency that defense and insurance people work with is, is historically physical injuries. And so in order to get them to appreciate or to value a case, at least at the value that I think is significant enough to have made the parents and child go through the case itself in addition to the abuse, sometimes it's my feeling you need to, in the case of a non-significant brain injury, show the abuse actually happening and link it to a physical injury. So the case resolved um, after uh, lengthy mediation. The outcome is extremely significant. I would use this sort of video in any kind of my abuse cases just to re-emphasize the event and to demonstrate to the defense and the other decision makers exactly what happened.